What's up YouTube? This is gonna be my long awaited class setup and settings video. So before we start, I'm gonna be going over the best setup for my Pellington and my Tundra, which a lot of you have been asking. And then I'm also gonna be going over my colorblind settings and I play on controller. So I'll go over my sensitivity and all that. I would really appreciate if you could just hit a few buttons, the subscribe and the like button. I'm gonna be posting more on YouTube as well as I'm gonna start streaming soon. So all my socials are going to be linked in the description. I would appreciate if you just do a few taps, follow me, help me grow on other channels. I'm going to be posting a lot more content, so stay tuned. Let's jump right into it. So first we're going to look at the Pellington. This is my main Pellington loadout. What you're really going to need is this Tiger Team Barrel. This is going to increase the damage, the fire rate and bullet velocity. Uh, as well as the reload quickness so all these just really help you out so next i run the bruiser grip the grips are optional and preference so we look at the details so we analyze it. it doesn't really mean much to me i don't know what that's really saying just use it that's what i use seven round mag this is the only mag that will get you the most bullets with no decrease in ads or sprint to fire so you're gonna run that airborne elastic for the wrap this is also preference um the only thing you're losing is 15% of sprint to fire speed. So actually you could switch it to drop shot, which I'm gonna do right now. So you could basically ADS while proning is, which is how I drop shot and you're not losing anything. And then last Raider pad for sprint to fire increase. So next is gonna be the LW3 Tundra. This is my favorite sniper out of all of them. Attachments are pretty much gonna be the same. The Tiger team for the damage increase bruiser grip as well pretty optional unless you want to run the body you can run one of the the lasers seven round mag again airborne elastic wrap which i should actually switch to drop shot just so i don't lose the sprints of fire speed and last raider pad for the sprints of fire again so that's pretty much it those are my loadouts that i run for the snipers and as i did say i'm on PC, but I'm on controller. So my sensitivities are 1414. They're on insane. My ADS um, low zoom 1.9, high zoom is a four. And my button layout, I play on tactical. Um, it's pretty easy to get used to if you want to try it out. I just crouch with R3, which actually helps, and that's why I drop shot so much and I I crouch so much with every shot. And then my triggers are flipped. Target aim assist mode, I have it on standard. I haven't really messed with it. I don't know what the other ones are. Threshold uh, minimum input or zero on both the left and right. Max, I just leave it at 99. And that should be pretty much it for my controller settings. A few of you have asked about my colorblind. So these are my graphics. So we look at the colorblind. I'm on the last colorblind type. And as you can see from my enemy color, I have it on the brightest pink, just so it's easier to see them. So I suggest you do that. And then, my FOV is on 115, that's also a preference. My ADS, field of view is affected. Everything else is also a preference. So that's pretty much it. If you guys did enjoy this settings video and everything I provided, I would appreciate if you just hit the subscribe button as well as my Twitch and TikTok is linked in the description. If you could go support me on those platforms, I would appreciate that. I'm gonna be posting a lot more content. So we're at 9,000 right now and we're so close to 10,000. So if you could go follow me on TikTok, I would appreciate that. If you guys did enjoy this video, I hope it helped. And remember, stay frosty.